2023 Porsche 718 Cayman review, almost as good as the 911. Of the premium sports cars in the USA, the Porsche 718 Cayman is one of the most accomplished. It is presented with a trio of engine options, starting at 300 horsepower and maxing out at 394 horsepower in the GTS 4.0 ensuring that you have loads of power to play with. Of course, the attractive styling of the car is extremely alluring. However, $60,000 is a lot to ask for a small car like this when the much quicker Chevrolet Corvette costs the same and the outgoing Audi TT is quite a bit cheaper. That being said, few rivals come close to comparing with this spirited coupe when it comes to sheer driving pleasure. It doesn't hurt that the 2023 718 Cayman is extremely customizable to fit the specific taste of just about any potential buyer. It's also far cheaper than the 911, making it an excellent way to get a foot in the Porsche door and open up a whole new world of motoring excellence. 2023 Porsche 718 Cayman changes, what's the difference versus the 2022 718 Cayman? The new Porsche 718 Cayman Coupe gets a few extra color options, namely ice gray metallic and arctic gray. Sadly, the new Apple CarPlay is only available on the topmost trims, the GT4 and GT4 RS, we review these trims separately from the regular Porsche 718 Cayman trims in this review. Pros and Cons Much more attainable than a 911. Magnificent Handling Class-leading gearboxes. Quick acceleration. GTS is truly brutal. Four-cylinder models don't sound great. Average interior design and materials. Pricey options can send the price soaring. What's the price of the 2023 Porsche 718 Cayman? Though a lot cheaper than other sibling models, the price of the 2023 Porsche 718 Cayman is still higher than the competition. Starting with the base model, it will cost you $63,400, while the T pushes the price up significantly to $72,500. From there, it is only a small hop up to the S at $75,400. To get the most powerful engine, you have to pony up almost $100,000 since the GTS 4.0 sells for $90,300. These prices for the new Porsche 718 Cayman are MSRP and do not include tax, registration, or the expense of $1,650 destination charge. 2023 Porsche 718 Cayman Handling and Driving Impressions Though it may not be the most luxurious or powerful sports car at this price, the 718 Cayman is a perfectly balanced mid-engine sportster, and you'll be hard-pressed to find anyone willing to say a bad word about how this car handles. It is quick and agile, with one of the most finely tuned electric steering systems in the world extreme precision with just the right amount of feedback to ensure an engaging driving experience. The Audi TT and BMW Z4 can't compare on this front. What's more, this focus on fun doesn't come at the expense of comfort, though the suspension can be a little stiff at times. The damping makes up for this and absorbs most bumps without fuss. Of course, all of this is enhanced in the GTS 4.0 model, which adds its superior engine outputs to the mix of the finely tuned suspension and incredible chassis, resulting in something many have called driving perfection. Verdict, is the 2023 Porsche 718 Cayman a good car? Despite a lack of any changes or improvements in refinement, the 2023 Porsche Cayman remains one of the best driver's cars in the world. This alone makes it worth the high price of purchase, though there is more value to be found here. It won't be in the trunk, though, since it is laughably small. Luckily, there is a frunk that supplements this for an acceptable total. The interior is otherwise spacious for the two passengers that can fit. Comfort and convenience tech is present, though not excessive, but safety tech has to be added optionally, and there isn't a lot to choose from. 
You do need to pay a lot to get your hands on the sublime naturally aspirated engine found in the GTS 4.0, but there aren't many mills like this left in the market, and few come with such an incredible car attached. However, you could get a V8-powered Chevy Corvette for less, so there is that to consider. It's still cheaper than a 911, and the Porsche badge holds a lot more sway than just about anything you could find locally. What 2023 Porsche 718 Cayman model should I buy? Though the whole range is impressive, we can easily understand why everyone wants the GTS 4.0. It is the only model equipped with the incredible naturally aspirated six-cylinder engine, and it takes the Cayman to new heights when compared to the base or even the S or T trims. That being said, it is absurdly expensive. Even the base model has a potent 300 horsepower on tap, though, and it still handles incredibly well. And, when you're only paying around $60,000, you should have some pocket change left over to throw on some upgrades like leather upholstery or the premium package. Trims and Specs The Porsche 718 Cayman is offered in four different trims, base, T, S, and GTS 4.0. As the hardtop sibling of the Porsche Boxster, it retains the same ingredients that make every Porsche a joy to drive. There are powerful engines, a sublime chassis, and a driver-focused cockpit that puts everything within easy reach. A pair of turbocharged four-cylinder engines produce either 300 or 350 horsepower, while the GTS 4.0 cranks up the heat with its 394 horsepower naturally aspirated flat six. All versions come with a six-speed manual gearbox and an optional seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. The Cayman T and GTS 4.0 standard specifications include the Sport Chrono package and a lowered PASM Sport suspension. Other specs on the Porsche 718 Cayman include front-slash-rear parking sensors, a 7-inch infotainment touchscreen, an 8-speaker sound system, dual-zone automatic climate control, and heated seats. Not much changes as you move up the trim levels, but Porsche's vast options list can add tens of thousands to the base price, while also making the Cayman considerably more luxurious. 2022 718 Cayman Performance There genuinely isn't a Cayman that can be termed slow, with performance ranging from energetic to breathtaking in the case of the GTS 4.0. The base version with the manual gearbox and the Sport Chrono package takes 4.9 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour and has a top speed of 170 miles per hour, but it can complete the benchmark sprint in as little as 4.5 seconds with both the Sport Chrono package and the PDK transmission. With neither the PDK nor the Sport Chrono upgrades, the base Cayman isn't much slower. With another 50 horsepower, the Cayman S can go from 0 to 60 in as little as 4 seconds with the PDK box and the Sport Chrono package. The range-topping GTS 4.0 is the powerhouse in the lineup, serving up 394 horsepower and 309 lbft of torque from its naturally aspirated 4.0-liter six-cylinder engine, enough for a top speed of 182 miles per hour. However, with the six-speed manual, it's slower to 60 than the PDK-equipped Cayman S, reaching that mark in 4.3 seconds. Tick the box for the PDK gearbox on the GTS and it not only gets an increase in torque to 317 lbft, but it becomes the quickest Cayman of them all, disregarding the GT4 which we review separately, dispatching the benchmark sprint in just 3.8 seconds. If it's straight-line performance you're after, the Audi TT RS is even quicker to 60 miles per hour, thanks in part to its Quattro all-wheel drive system. All Caymans direct their power to the rear axle. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.